The human heart pumps about 4,000 gallons of blood a day. Deoxygenated blood from the body enters the heart through the superior and inferior vena cava and drains into the right atrium. It then flows past the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. Blood is then pumped past the pulmonary semilunar valve into the pulmonary trunk and the pulmonary arteries, which deliver blood to the lungs for gas exchange. These are the only arteries in the body that carry deoxygenated blood. Blood coming back from the lungs enters the heart from the only veins that carry oxygenated blood, the pulmonary veins. Blood then travels into the left atrium past the tricuspid valve, also known as the mitral valve, and into the largest chamber of the heart, the left ventricle. Blood is then pumped past the aortic semilunar valve and into the largest blood vessel in the body, the aorta, and then to the entire body. The sheep's heart we will be dissecting is similar in size and structure to the human heart. First, orient yourself to the dissected heart. The top, or blunt end, is where all of the blood vessels and atria are. The bottom is comprised of two ventricles. The apex, or the point, is actually made up entirely by the left ventricle. You can tell which side is the front by looking for the transverse septum, which lies diagonally between the right and left ventricles. Remember that the left and right parts of the heart refer to the animal's left and right which is the reverse on your left and right when you are facing the front of the heart. To dissect the heart, first find the superior vena cava that sits on top of the right atrium. Then, use a scalpel to carefully start your incision at the superior vena cava and cut along the outside edge of the right atrium and ventricle. Continue across the apex and left ventricle. When you reach the top of the left ventricle, Make sure you continue your incision through the left atrium. Now, you must cut through the transverse septum inside the heart to separate the two halves of the heart. Hold the heart upside down and slip your scalpel into the incision at the apex and cut the septum all the way to the top of the heart. Then, separate the two halves of the heart. Let's look at the back half of the heart to compare it to the structures we saw on the model. If you have trouble identifying a blood vessel, place a probe into the vessel to see what chamber it is connected to. This will give a hint to what structure it is. First, find the superior and inferior vena cava. The inferior vena cava is sometimes more difficult to find and you may want to use a probe to find it right atrium, tricuspid valve, right ventricle. You may need to look at the front half of the heart to find the pulmonary semilunar valve and the pulmonary trunk and arteries. Now find the relatively small pulmonary veins on top of the left atrium. The bicuspid or mitral valve and left ventricle. Notice how much thicker the muscular walls of the left ventricle are compared to the right ventricle. This is because the left ventricle is responsible for pumping blood to the entire body, whereas the right ventricle only has to pump blood a short distance to the lungs. The blood from the left ventricle is pumped across the aortic semilunar valve and in to the aorta. Remember to discard all heart parts into the appropriate biohazard receptacle. 